So my friend's dad is, was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and he's had this disorder for over 20 years. And because of this disorder, he's had to take psychotropic drugs, um, which help with his bipolar disorder. And um, by taking those drugs, it's caused him to have high cholesterol and high blood pressure and has um, had him contract diabetes. And um, also, like by taking these drugs, it's caused him to have um, erectile dysfunction at 52 years old. Um, the doctor gave him uh, sleeping pills because through his um, bipolar disorder, it's caused him insomnia, and for at one point in time, he couldn't go to sleep for three months. So the doctor prescribed him sleeping medication, and um, these sleeping pills, after a while, he started to get addicted to them, and he asked his doctor if he could um, have any like substitute instead, and his doctor um, kind of prescribed him marijuana and said, maybe you should try this, it'll probably help you, and it's not addictive. So he tried it, and it changed his life around. He's able to eat, he's able to sleep better and relax, and um, his bipolar disorder is um, under control along with the medication and the medical marijuana. In this speech, I'm going to um, tell you why you should vote for the bill HR 2306, which allows um, the which allows marijuana and tetrahydrocannabis to be removed from the Schedule One um, list of the um, Controlled Substances Act, and um, allows states to regulate um, the use of marijuana, um, but not distributing it um, throughout the states, just in um, the particular state. And um, I'm going to tell you why you should pass this, or why you should vote for this, because it helps uh, patients that need medicinal marijuana to get that adequate health care. And it also will help um, individual states, if they choose to vote for um, the legalization of marijuana in that particular state, it will allow that state to um, make revenue off of taxing it, um, and it will help our economy get out of debt. Now first, I'm going to explain to you um, how passing this bill will um, help patients that are terminally ill, such as like cancer and glaucoma. Um, it'll help them get the adequate health care they need. Um, the, um, um, in a study done by the, at the University of Virginia in 1972, they've known this for a long time, that um, cannabis does have medicinal um, benefits. Uh, it actually, the THC in marijuana helps, um, it slows the progress of lung cancer, breast cancer, and a virus-induced leukemia. And um, the University of Maryland did studies on this um, back in the 70s, and they learned that this um, is a benefit to medicinal marijuana. And also, um, medicinal marijuana helps with cancer patients because they go through chemo treatments and um, if any of you have relatives that have gone through chemo um, or any of that, they can't eat and they're ama they look emaciated and um, they look almost anorexic and they can't hold their food down because every time they eat, they vomit. And um, by them having medicinal marijuana um, um, to their use, they can um, use it to lead a healthier life and eat better. And my second point, you should um, vote for HR 2306 because not only will it help medical patients, it'll also help um, states get out of debt because um, 16 states have already passed um, the legalization of marijuana and um, California being one of them. It's helping us get out of debt by um, having um, like clinics and stuff like that. And um, um, top economist Paul Krugman said that um, by the legalization of marijuana instantly, the, um, our economy can gain 10 to, 15, uh, 10 to 14 billion dollars in revenue because right now the marijuana industry, um, there's 34 billion, um, it's worth 34 billion dollars and um, by legalizing it in um, certain states they can create a tax revenue of 7 billion dollars. and. Um, since the 70s, the, um, the government has spent $1.2 trillion on trying um, on the prohibition of marijuana. And um, the war against marijuana every year is $42 billion. And um, with that $42 billion, we could, instead, we could um, employ 880,000 school teachers. 
at a salary of $47,600 per year. So instead of using that money for the prohibition of marijuana, which can actually help people and raise our economy out of debt, we're spending billions and billions of dollars on trying to um, suppress this so-called drug that is um, it's kind of um, altered, like through yellow journalism, people have um, seen marijuana or um, marijuana being portrayed as a bad thing when really it can um, help um, patients, like medical patients that need it, and um, can help the economy get out of debt. And um, for my last point, I am going to explain to you why, um, although some people may believe that um, marijuana is addictive and um, that it can, it's just gonna, by legalizing, by states legalizing it, it's just gonna increase drug cartels, but that's actually not true because um, by legalizing marijuana in certain states, the people in that state will be allowed to grow it and they'll be allowed to um, sell it, but they just won't be allowed to exchange it through um, state borders. And um, James Smith, um, who is head of the judiciary, states that just by legalizing marijuana, um, or by states legalizing marijuana, there that's going to allow drug cartels to be increased, drug trafficking to be increased. But that's not true because if you legalize marijuana in a certain state, the people in that state that need the medicinal marijuana aren't going to go out of their way to buy illegal um, illegal marijuana that's not as good when they could just get it within their state from a clinic or from their family or any friends and anyone they know that grows it because people aren't going to go try to get something illegal if it's already if it's already legal in their state and there's um, better ways to get it. Um, and so in this um, speech, I um, talked to you about how um, the benefits of medicinal marijuana to um, like terminate ill patients, like cancer patients and people with glaucoma, and um, not only that, but also people with um, multiple sclerosis also can benefit from marijuana. And um, I also talked to you about how um, not only by legalizing it will um, people that need it get the adequate health care, but by states legalizing it, they can bring their state out of debt and they can put a tax on marijuana from it being legal and they can um, create a tax revenue of billions and billions of dollars and get their states out of debt. And also, um, I told you about how there's a common misconception that um, marijuana is addictive and that it's only going to increase um, drug cartels, but that's not true because um, the um, by it being legal um, in the individual states, those um, citizens in those states won't go out of their way to um, purchase uh, marijuana from people that um, that comes from Mexico and that's illegal and stuff like that. So they're going to want to get it from within their state where it's legal and they can just go to a clinic and it's safer.